Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Laura. So we're doing a bit of a different build today. Um, it's not even actually a house, although you'll see later where you could make it into a house or some other kind of public lot if you wanted to. <laughs> so I built this on the uh, Appaloosa Mansion lot, which is the land grabs property and actually ended up being about 35,000 simoleons when I was done with it. As you can see in the title, I built a dragon cave and this is because I asked on Twitter uh, what I should build and my friend said, uh, can you build me a dragon cave? <laughs> um, so his name is The Immortal Fates. He is one of my Twitter slash Twitch friends and uh, you should go check him out if you haven't already, but he, uh, his theme is around dragons and he just got a bunch of emotes made that were these cute little dragons and super adorable. But anyway, <laughs> I just figured why not turn it into a YouTube video because why not? It, uh, was definitely interesting for me to try to figure out how to do it. Wasn't even sure at first that I could do it. So it was a lot of just playing around with the rocks and placement and sizing. Um, you'll see later that it's kind of hard for me to place like foliage around it. Um, not that I did like an exorbitant amount, but I figured, you know, it wouldn't just be rocks. It's going to be some plants and maybe some trees. So I did a bunch of those. But because of the placement of the rocks, it was very hard to get it them where I wanted them to be. Um, and I, I, if you didn't know already, move objects on has to be on for this. <laughs> and I, actually, it's funny that I ended up doing this because I was trying to do, which I still may or may not do, but... For my E build for the A to Z build challenge, I was trying to do what's called an earth berm. And uh, if you haven't heard of that before, um, it's basically just a house that's like partially built into the earth, like the side of a hill or partially underground or something like that, so that um, it's, you know, more ecologically friendly. You don't have to use AC and heat. And um, there's, there's another thing that's. A characteristic of that that I can never remember. I was trying to build it on stream, um, and I kept having to describe it, and it kept forgetting. <laughs> so that was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, um, I actually crashed the game trying to build it. First, I broke the game, and then I crashed it because <laughs> I was trying to put grass like over top of the um, like the roof essentially, but there wasn't a roof. Um, and I put so many grass pieces that weird uh, glitches started happening and then like on the house and then some glitches started happening in the neighborhood and before I knew it there were weird structures in the sky <laughs> and uh, eventually the game crashed because I, I just kept playing and adding more. <laughs> I don't know at what point, like, how many pieces of the grass, like, plant it took for that to happen, but it was, that was the only thing I could think of to, like, fix the solution of needing stuff over the house. But, now that I figured out I can do this with the rocks, that is another option. I mean, I wanted it to look more like, gra like a grassy knoll than rocks but um you might be able to play around with something else to do it that way but anyway um as you can see it's a pretty short video for my videos <laughs> we're already more than halfway through but yeah here is where i was trying to figure out how to put the trees as you can tell like i didn't move their mouse around multiple times and uh, you know move things up and down and use alt to flip it around and get the placement right. I mean, let me tell you, this took longer than it should have, which I realize I say with pretty much every build. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping that I can get better and not have everything take me so what feels long to me. Um, cause this took, I want to say about 45 minutes. Um, because the video was 52 minutes, but I cut some of it out where I had like stopped. So I want it's probably about 45 minutes. Um, so hopefully in the future I'll be able to cut down on time and then the videos will be shorter or I won't have to speed them up so much either or. So yeah, I, I tried to use a bunch of different like bushes and flat, well not flowers, but you know the that thing on top that's, I don't know what that's called, but it's that tall plant. I think I struggled with that during the uh, woodsy tiny home voiceover also. <laughs> So, I mean, I tried to keep it kind of desert looking to fit in with the theme. I got the palm trees and those dry looking ferns and um, those trees, the two trees on either side that kind of remind me of um, the Sahara of Lion King. <laughs> so I felt like that was good and tied in there. Um yeah, uh, I ended up blocking the entrance to the cave at, at this point, and I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to fix it. But we're actually coming up on the end of the video already. I'm not going to upload this to the gallery unless somebody asks. So it's not an actual house, but you could make it into one. I did actually build a, well, the foundation for a basement underneath this, so... It should be pretty easy to turn into one, or maybe I'll do that at a later date. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed here already, please do so. And also, if you want to go check out my Twitch channel, Sim Aura X, um, you catch me streaming over there Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern, and then Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern. So I hope to see you soon. Bye!